Hey guys, it's Darwin. Today I wanted to talk about backpacking shelters, specifically tents versus bivvies. What is a bivvy? Why would you choose it over a tent? The pros and cons of each and what's the best shelter for your next hike? All right, so as most of you guys know, I am a tent person. I've never really been into hammock camping or tarp camping or bivy camping. From the Big Agnes Copper Spur UL2 that Snuggles and I carried on our Appalachian Trail through hike to the tent that I'm currently using, which is the Z-Pax Duplex, I love tents. Why? Because whenever I'm out hiking, I like having a little home on the trail. I like room to be able to spread out, to put all my gear in, and just in case there's a rainstorm or some sort of hardcore weather, I know that I can stay inside and have plenty of shelter. But not too long ago, I was looking at doing a completely different gear setup when I went to do my section hike of the Arizona Trail in September. I was looking between either a nice ultralight one person tent, maybe a tarp setup, or a bivy setup since I've never really taken one out on the trail. When I was out at PCT days in August, I was talking to the guys at Enlightened Equipment and they showed me a new product that they'd come out with called the Recon Bivy and it perked my interest. So before I start getting into the Recon Bivy and talking about that one in specific, let's talk about bivvies. What is a bivy? Well, a bivy is essentially a sack. Bivvies were designed for climbers that wanted some sort of an emergency sack to put over their sleeping bag when they were on the side of the mountain to protect them against rain, snow, and the harsh elements of a mountainside like in the winter or something. Now, when most people think of a bivy, they think about the emergency aluminum foil looking mylar sack that you just kind of keep in your pack just in case stuff goes bad and you need an emergency shelter. Over the years, the bivy has become much more being made of thicker material, having more of a bathtub on it, having mesh breathable tops, and even having a rigidity arc that goes over your face so you don't feel so claustrophobic. Now, one of the reasons I've never really been into the idea of a bivy is I'm a little bit claustrophobic. And to me, it always seemed like sleeping in a coffin. Now, there are a ton of different types of bivvies out on the market from the Black Diamond Spotlight to the Outdoor Research Molecule. North Face makes a couple of them. Marmot makes a couple of them. There are a ton of different bivvies, different styles, from your traditional bag bivvy to more of a tent style bivvy. Now, the reason I decided to pick up one is the Enlightened Equipment bivvy didn't seem like your typical sack, claustrophobic coffin type style. It looked a little bit more like a one person tent where it had a lot more headroom, it was a lot wider, and it just seemed overall more comfortable on the trail if you had to spend some time in it. So I decided to pick one up. I took it out on that section hike of the Arizona Trail and to my surprise, I actually liked it quite a bit. Now, what are some reasons that you would choose a bivvy over a tent? Well, there's a handful. Number one, a bivvy is much more minimalistic and simplistic. So if you're putting together an ultralight kit, a bivvy's perfect. This thing only weighs a little bit over seven ounces. It only takes four stakes to set up. It doesn't use any tent poles or anything, so it's super minimalistic. The other reason is obviously it packs down small, so it doesn't take up a lot of real estate in your pack. Now, even though it is seven ounces, I did carry a tarp in that setup just in case I was gonna get rain, I wanted a little bit of extra shelter over me. And the overall weight of the tarp and the bivy together was a pound, which is obviously much lighter than most backpacking tents on the market. Now, there are a few tents that do come in at a pound, but still pretty damn light. All right, so bivvies are nice and small and lightweight, but what are some of the cons of using a bivy? Well, because it is a very small enclosure, Obviously, if you're trapped in some sort of hardcore weather, you can't really move much. You're kind of just sit in that position. So if you're hiking in some conditions that you know are going to be hardcore, like a rainstorm, you know you're going to get some snow, a bivy probably isn't the best option, and that's where the tent comes in. Now again, I'm a massive fan of tents because I really like spreading out and having my own home on the trail. I like knowing that if there is some really hardcore weather and I have to be trapped inside of my shelter that I'm not going to feel so claustrophobic. I can stretch out a little bit and most tents have a vestibule so I know that I can cook on the outside of my vestibule and never really have to get out of my tent and get into the elements. And if you are hiking with someone else and you're carrying a tent like I do, the duplex, you know that it has enough room 
for two people, where a bivy is made for pretty much one person. And then obviously some of the cons of using a tent would be it's a lot heavier. There's more pieces of gear that you have to mess with. Like some tents are gonna have a separate fly, tent poles, more stakes, and it's gonna take up more real estate in your pack. So I think it all comes down to what conditions that you're gonna be hiking in. Now, I think that if I was gonna go do another big desert hike, like somewhere in the first 700 miles of the PCT on the Arizona Trail, the first big section of the Continental Divide Trail, a bivy works perfect, super minimalistic, and it's just enough to keep the critters off of me, keep the bugs off my face, give me just a little bit of shelter. But if I was hiking on the East Coast, like on the Appalachian Trail, or the Pacific Northwest, where it rains a lot and you're in those more hardcore conditions, I'd probably reach for the tent. So, an answer to the question, should I take a bivy or should I take a tent? It all depends on what trail you're hiking and what conditions that you're gonna be in. So, what are you currently using on the trail? A bivy or a tent? What is your preference and what is in your kit? Leave me something in the comment box below and let me know your thoughts. If you haven't had a chance yet, go over and check me out on Instagram. I've been posting a lot of new photos lately of some of the things that Snuggles and I have going on throughout the week, plus some pictures of some past hikes. If you found any value in this video, go ahead and hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And as always, guys, thanks for watching.